I'm a uh, radiologist. I'm also an MR physicist. I have a med MD and a PhD from Johns Hopkins University. I did my training in diagnostic radiology at Stanford University. Uh, I'm currently the chief of magnetic resonance imaging and also the vice chair for research at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. My name is Tammy Heidel. I have been an MRI technologist for over 30 years, the last 15 at UW Hospital and Clinics as the lead MRI technologist. I've had scanning experience since the early 90s with GE MRI equipment. Our mission is to improve human health through innovation, both in innovative clinical care and through research. We have a long-standing relationship with GE Healthcare. GE is located an hour down the road from the University of Wisconsin, and we've worked in partnership for many decades on the de uh, fundamental development of new imaging techniques and translation into clinical care. In the evaluation of the Premier system, we've had two phases. The initial phase in evaluating the magnet, which we call phase one, was in a number of healthy volunteers in order to develop protocols, to test the system, to try to push the, the limits of its performance in order to make sure that we are confident in the image quality before moving on to phase two, which would be in actual patients with clinical indications for an MRI exam. What I like most about working with the Sigma Premier is the magic sequence along with the 48 channel brain coil. It enables the technologist to get up to eight image contrast in approximately five minutes. You also can manipulate the image contrast by adjusting TE, TR, and TI after the patient is gone. I also like the ability to use different coil combinations without repositioning the patient. With the Sigma Premier, we are looking to evaluate a state-of-the-art high-performance system that had both high-performance gradients, high-performance uh, high RF chain, with the capabilities of wide bore in order to have access for all patients that we see in our practice. So as part of phase one, we scanned over 100 patients in order to develop protocols as well as to push the limits of the scanner and make sure that we were comfortable with the system before moving on to phase two. Phase two is aimed at patients with diagnostic indications for a clinical MRI exam in which we were able to continue to evaluate the system um, but with protocols that we had considered to be validated. My impression of image quality is very good, especially using volumetric imaging with HyperSense and HyperCube, which are parallel imaging techniques. It enables the technologist to get isotropic imaging that can be later reprocessed into all three planes. I also like the Flex technique, which is a two-point Dixon technique, enabling even fat sat off isocenter and large field of view imaging. The high performance uh, of the Premier, in particular the gradients, has enabled us to do several things. Not only are we able to shorten scan time to uh, improve image quality through re reduced motion artifact, uh, as well as achieve higher spatial resolution, but one of the, the uh, important features of the high performance gradients is to improve diffusion weighted imaging, uh, specifically by reducing distortion as well as reducing our echo times to improve signal to noise performance. We've really noticed a big improvement for prostate imaging where we're able to achieve higher signal to noise and reduce distortion um, for uh, prostate cancer. For neuroimaging, the uh, Premier has been uh, highly advantageous for, uh, again, improved spatial resolution. Uh, reducing our scan time uh, with high performance, particularly for diffusion weighted imaging as well as diffusion tensor imaging. One of the greatest improvements with technology is we get 60 centimeter image quality with a 70 centimeter bore, which is more comfortable for the patients. We've been using the uh, Sigma Premier um, uh, quite extensively for cardiac MRI. One of the big changes we've noticed is in our ability to reduce the TR for balanced steady state free precession imaging, which helps to reduce banding artifacts and other motion related artifacts. The patient perception with the Sigma Premier is they're a lot more comfortable because of the 70 centimeter bore. The table is also wider, which enables easier positioning of the patient. The patient will feel more stable on the table. They also like that the table can lower so that you don't need to use a step stool to position the patient on the table. 
We've been very impressed with the quality of the fat suppression using the dual volume shimming. And so for example, the other day we had a case in a patient who had both a saline implant in one breast and had a silicone implant in the other breast, which we would normally expect to be problematic for the system, but it was able to handle that and achieve very uniform fat suppression. My impressions of the 48 channel brain coil enables the technologist to get higher resolution scans faster because of the increased signal and we have been able to adjust our protocols to get higher resolution imaging in a shorter amount of time. Overall, we're very happy with the Premier. We are able to combine both uh, the high performance uh, gradients, high performance RF, new features like the air coil, other new applications, but in a wide bore setting. So we're able to fit all of our patients into this magnet, which is very important for access, especially with our larger patients. Overall, uh, it's been a real winner for us.